<laughs> it's been some time since I last talked to the camera. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new reading year and a new reading vlog. It is dark outside and normally I prefer to film when it's still light but that's impossible during these days. You know what it is like. Today is January the 10th and the thing is that I still haven't finished a single book this month. So that's really really weird to me. I guess this is the new me but I have been reading a lot. It's just that I've been reading rather chunky books and I'm enjoying them immensely but I thought that I would start off this vlog with showing you what I'm currently reading. First book is actually the one that I have over here. I have the dust jacket off but I'm reading The Revolution of Maradaya. No, I'm currently reading The Revolution of Marina M by Janet Fitch. I have about 200 pages left. This is after all a 800 page book and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So this one is a good read but it does take me some time to get through. Which is fine, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy it, I'm just taking my time with it. Another book I'm currently reading is a reread actually and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. So I read this one last year and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to reread it because I had forgotten most of it and I wanted to see if I want to get the sequel which comes out here in January. Or not. I'm not sure yet because while I love this story, I'm not over the moon about it. So I'm not sure I'm going to get the sequel, but we will see. And then last but not least, I'm reading another book over here. So this is another chunky one. I'm reading Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry, which is a western set in... 18, 1900s America. I'm reading this one rather slowly because I'm buddy reading it with a bunch of other people so that we read about 100 pages per week and that's why I haven't finished this one yet but it is really good. This is my favorite kind of breakfast these days. It is yogurt with banana and berries and then a crumbled oatmeal muffin into it which is just Mmm, so delicious. I wonder where Zeus is? And there he is. I have now finished the first two books of the year. I finished them on the same day because I had read them simultaneously. So the first one I finished was this one, the first one of 2018, I have to say. This one turned out to be a beautiful story about Marina who goes through her own personal revolution in Russia parallel to the Russian Revolution. What I really liked about this book is the scenes in which the author zooms in. I thought those scenes worked the best. The beautiful writing, I loved it. It was breathtaking. It is quite a huge and chunky book. It is about 800 pages, but in the end I felt like I was rewarded besides from the fact that the very last page tells me that this is just the end of book one which I'm not sure how I feel about that because this is quite a long story but anyway I really like this one I ended up giving it four stars so that was amazing I think I'm going to put you down here just because my hands my arms are not strong enough to carry you the second book I obviously finished was this one which was a reread and this time around I didn't quite love it as much as I did the first time. First time I read it I gave it four stars. I have now downgraded it to three stars but I stand by my opinion. This is a very kind of funny retelling of Russian folklore through one family living in Russia. And then it's about specifically the people's fear of spirits and demons and how they try to please those spirits in the house in order to avoid any kind of chaos and then it's also about how christian people try to kind of remove that belief so yeah it's a very interesting retelling of that folklore but i was missing something else and also the ending unravels the story a little bit for me so yeah i'm not going to read and buy the second book just because this was just okay but it was fun to reread, at least. I'm about to film the first video of 2018 and Zeus is already 
to watch me talk about books, which he thinks is super weird, but you have to get used to it at some point. I think it's time for a reading update. I am currently reading this big novel and I just finished next week's part of this book. I was supposed to not read that until next week, but I couldn't help myself, so here we have it. I'm thoroughly enjoying this one, but it is going back on my shelf. Also, I have decided to put back on my shelf middle March. I have read half of it, reread half of it, and I am planning on reading the rest of it, but just not right now. I feel like I'm in the mood for a new story and I kind of feel restless because I haven't been reading a lot and I kind of want to... I don't know what it is. I think it might be my amount of books read so far. I've read two books in January and today is January the 21st. So I feel kind of restless and I... I don't know what it is, but anyway, the book I have settled on picking up and which I hope to read and finish over the next week. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Eng. It's finally happening, a new release that is very hyped. I have read her first novel, which I can't recall the title of, but I have read it. So I'm excited to read this one. And it's one of those books that's part of my 18 books to read in 2018 pile and I'm looking forward to it. My camera battery is flashing at me but I just want to tell you that I have been seriously considering to actually do a Goodreads goal anyway so that I have a goal of books I want to read. Wait, let me just find some lighting. So that I have an amount of books that I want to read and finish in 2018. I didn't put a goal in the beginning of the year but I might do it now I don't know why but as I said I've been feeling kind of restless and I want to progress in my reading I think I'm going to do it right here on camera and why not just go big I think I'm going to put it at a hundred books and if I can't read that goal I will just downgrade it which will be fine with me reading challenge join the challenge and then one hundred books start ah, I just did it fingers crossed the only thing is I have read two books why is the second book not shown in here that is bothering me I think it's because it was a reread but I will have to figure that out since last time I have decided to downgrade my Goodreads goal to 60 books just because the other number felt like way too much pressure and I don't want that so 60 books it is. It is 5 p.m. and I swear to you it's only just now starting to get darker. I love it. I'm here to talk about a book I finished which is this one and the thing is I don't know what my feelings are towards it. It's definitely a good book, really good, but whether it's a three star or a four star read I can't really seem to decide on. It's a book very much character driven which are the kinds of books that I love but it also felt like it was a bit too... how can you say it? It felt like the author made the pieces of the puzzle a bit too convenient for my taste so that there are so many stories and destinies entwined in this story which felt a bit too convenient all in all so I don't really know how to rate it but I did really enjoy it and this was my third book of 2018 so so yeah I don't know what to say with that I'm just happy I get to have brighter days and great books to read I just got home and I haven't even taken off my jacket but I want to give you a sneak peek of a book haul that will be up sometime in February. So can you guess what book this is? That's the question. If you can, take a good look. If you can guess the book, then leave your guess in the comments, I guess. This is the current situation. It is Monday evening and wow, I don't even know what happened. But basically, this is the coolest thing ever. Look what I got. I got a kind of board that I can make some quotes on and I've got the letters over here and Suze loves all the boxes obviously. Now in this box you get another sneak peek at some beautiful books that I have received so I will 
do a video about those at some later point. So this is the current situation. My books and Zeus as my guardian dog. Hello guys, today is the last day of January and I can tell you that I am not going to finish any more books this month. Which is fine with me. I mean, I've read, what, three books in January? But I am currently reading three other books which I will be talking about in February. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. I, as you can see, I'm getting ready for work. I am so hungry, so I can't wait with my breakfast. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will come back with more reading and another reading vlog in February. So look out for that and until my next video, happy reading.